This is a productivity setup I've been able to carefully craft as a professional YouTuber, but before we get to that, we first need to understand why there's so many things here. Computer, another computer, cables, more cables, and cables again. High-res monitor, low-res monitor, but bigger. So let's start with the desk, which is a random mass-produced desk for the dorm that I'm staying in. Now, it had this extra shelf down here, but my massive quads were not able to fit, so I screwed it off. No shelves, just a desk. Moving over to the next big thing, and that's this monitor here. It's 144Hz 1080p gaming monitor that I got a while back so I can destroy noobs in CSGO. It's pretty good, but since it's only 1080p, I usually just choose to edit videos on the nicer screen of the MacBook. Speaking of which, I have two laptops. One is a Mac that I recently acquired to make these videos with, and the other one is this beast here for gaming. It doesn't have a battery because it started bloating and I had to remove it, so now it's permanently conjoined to a power cable. I also added this plain black sticker on the cover to represent my soul and I think it looks sick if you ignore 1000 cables that are coming out of it. On the Mac, I have a dbrand skin that I totally didn't get because I'm a massive Ali Abdel fanboy. This is the M1 14 inch MacBook Pro with these specs. And I like it. I've been scripting, recording, editing and doing all sorts of stuff with this guy and it only struggles sometimes. I love that it's such a portable thing. I can just take it and basically make videos anywhere. I don't have to have a mouse because the trackpad's great, the screen and the speakers are awesome, it's just a great all-around laptop for content creation. But not for gaming, leaving me with the power cable dark box solution. Now since I'm a professional YouTuber, you might be wondering where the hell do I hide my microphone? And the truth is, I don't have one. It's built into the MacBook. I even made a Skillshare course about how I make the built-in mic audio sound so crisp. If it's up your alley, you can check it out in the description. For gaming headphones, I use these IEMs. I spent 30 minutes cleaning them, so I hope you're enjoying this shot. Unfortunately, the audio jacks on my MSI laptop can't pull their weight and I have to use this audio to USB converter which sadly adds some static noise to my IEMs. I rarely use them with the MacBook because of the same issue with the static noise. For that guy, I have the Jabra Elite 75Ts, which have been great wireless earbuds and I usually use them with the Mac and my iPhone 8 that I'm recording this with. Now, I type on two keyboards, the Ann Pro 2, which I have modded the hell out of with custom keycaps, foam inside for better sound, and that's it. And then this MacBook keyboard, which I think is very nice to type on. That's all I have to say about it. Now the mouse is the SteelSeries Rival 100 and it's old. You can see by the way the paint is peeling off at the palm rest. I use it because my Razer Viper Ultimate decided to randomly die. I'm looking into ways of reviving it, but it's been a pain trying to unscrew it. Now behind my MacBook, I keep my pocket knife. I know, that's not a knife. That's a knife. It's the Spider Co Tenacious and I use it pretty much every day to make sandwiches. Over to the side here is my handy to-do list with which I remind myself of what to do. As you can see by the page color, it's one third of the way full. This is a green empty water bottle because I've already hydrated myself and it's a friendly reminder to empty your water bottle too. I also snatched this lamp from the Pixar office which helps me see at night. As you can also probably tell, I'm a certified cable management expert. As an example of my work, I have this sticky thing that holds my iPhone charger and I also hang cables on the back of my monitor. Cables? managed. And all of these little things combine into one man cave, or man table, for me to play games and edit videos in. Isn't that nice? What's also nice is this. It's my cool self-development and productivity newsletter. I send it out once a month with a tip, some cool websites I discovered, or inspiring quotes from a book I'm reading. You can read it completely for free in the description or subscribe to it by entering your email and you'll get it for free every month inside your inbox. See you later!